Hello everybody! Welcome to uh, Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom. So I mentioned in my last Cuphead episode that I've been sick lately and that's why I haven't put out any recordings or videos lately but um, while I was sick I While I was sick, I um, caught back up on Cuphead and Spongebob for Battle for Bikini Bottom. As far as Cuphead goes, I got everything exactly the same again. I got Pass Fist on all the Run and Gun episodes, and all the bosses were beaten. I don't have the same letter grade for those, but anyways, Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom. That's why you guys are here. I... Got rid of all the glitches, you might notice I don't have that little blue box in the corner anymore. The shadows are fine, um, kinda. Um, so, evidently, with this game in particular, if you run it on a modded GameCube, like mine, then all the shadows will be weird. So, I had to tweak something so that there are just no shadows anymore and other than that I got some textures so that a lot of the things in the game will be in HD now um, and of course it's in widescreen so hopefully you guys like this I put in some work in it and um, I'm sure you guys might let me know in the comments but here's what I got now in spatulas um top of the pineapple shady shoals spongebob's closet annoy squidward i got all of jellyfish fields all of downtown bikini bottom all of goo lagoon poseidon and the mermelayer so next up we'll do sandy's house i hope this is right i tried my best guys so if I end up replaying something, I apologize. I'm sorry, Sandy. Oh, I'm timed? Okay. Let's do it. Oh, well, we're off to a wonderful start. Okay, take care of you first. You're next. Oh, you're splody. Oh, I'm gonna die. Who else? Oh, it's two of those guys now. Miss me, miss me, miss me, miss me. Okay. Let's grab this underwear before something happens that shouldn't happen. Oh, like that. Just like that. Okay, there's some underwear. I don't like those tartar sauce guys. They're mean. Does that kill him? Hey, what do you know? Destroyed all the robots. Oh, look at SpongeBob's run. Oh, that is upsetting. I'm kind of glad I ended up coming back to this. Um, there's more... Oh, look at that. His eyeballs bulge if you run. That's... Uh, that's kind of weird. Um, there's been more info that's coming out, more videos and stuff of Spongebob Squarepants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. And it looks really, really good. Um, I mean, of course, I'm trying to make this look as nice as I can for you guys, but that looks very good. Hi, Patrick. When in doubt, pinky out. All right. Let's do... What should we do next?
What should we do next? That place costs 30. Sand Mountain? Yeah, let's do some Sand Mountain. That sounds like a good idea. I don't know how long we'll be playing this today. Um, after I do an episode of this, I think I'm gonna do the Pokemon Double Randomizer, but we'll just we'll just have some fun. Go along with it. Squidward, am I glad you're here? I need to borrow your toothbrush again. What? You've used it before? Oh yeah, lots of times. I figured if you didn't know, you wouldn't mind. I. What do I care? I'm a wreck anyways. I try and get some exercise to relax from all this robotness, and now everything's ruined. Because of a toothbrush? No, it's those blasted robots. They've taken over the ski slopes. How can I ski with those ugly things beating everyone up? Listen, SpongeBob, you've got to help me. I'm going to lose my marbles if I don't get some relaxation. i found if you keep your marbles in a bag, they don't get lost as often. In fact, I've got mine right here. It's embroidered with this lovely... Forget the marbles! I've got a better idea. If you get oh, rid of the robots up. at the bottom of every slope for me, I'll give you one of those golden spatulas. Welcome to chat, Max. Well, I don't know. It's hard to beat the extreme fun of marbles. Okay, okay, I'll give you one for each slope you clear. Now that's a deal. So, I can't remember if the last episode I played of this, if I did the puzzle that basically drove me to not playing this game anymore. Needless to say, I figured it out. So I may or may not go back and actually do it just to show you guys. It'll just kind of depend. I think I only get like a sock for it. All right. Hi, Gary. Hi, Gary. Well, that was a good conversation. That's number three. Do I have to do these in order? Nope. All right. Number three it is. I actually want to play this game. It's a really fun game. I used to play this a lot as a kid. I'm built for speed with this aerodynamic physique. But I'll give you a this, spatula if you can beat my time. A lot of the SpongeBob games weren't as popular. Um this one was probably the most popular spongebob game that came out this one in spongebob squarepants the movie but that's why they're actually remaking this game and it looks fantastic okay how can i hit you like that oh she spun around okay let's do it I know there's going to be a lot of secrets in these slopes for me to find, like socks and speak of the devil, like socks and more socks, but I don't know how many times I'll do each one, it'll just kind of depend. I know Larry gives you different challenges. Oh, that's a snowball. There's another sock up there. I may do this again so I can get that sock. Well, that looks like a shortcut if I ever saw one. Oh, I looked up at chat. That didn't help. Hey, a sock. Oh, now we can get another spatula from Mr. Krabs. This game is amazing. This and Spidey Web of Shadows were like the only two games I played as a kid. I have never heard of Spidey Web of Shadows. Is that a Spider-Man game? 
Or is that just something completely different that I've never heard of? And what console was it for? I might look into it. I feel like if I wouldn't would have gone to the right, I would have found another sock. So this is the time when I'm going to be needing to collect more shiny things during these slopes. Kind of like that. Oh, come on. I, that's not good. And time's still ticking. Oh, time is not ticking. Oh, so you die, you just lose. That's... Great. Well, I guess we're just gonna do this again now, aren't we? I don't know if I would've won that anyways. We're running pretty low on time. Oh, I should've gone to the left. Ah, uh, that was a bad decision. Mmm, I don't like these tight turns. I don't know, I was pretty close. Maybe I could have beaten it. Okay, beat these guys first. Boom, boom. Oh, I don't like you. You die. It's a Spider-Man game. I played on the Xbox 360, but I think on the PS3 and PC. I might look into that. I play. I only ever played one Spider-Man game. I haven't even played the new one. It looks good. I just I haven't played it. Um, I know there were other Spider-Man games, and they looked cool. I just. I think the only one I ever played was like the second one, and it was not great. I couldn't, well, I was also a kid when I played it though. I couldn't get past like the first boss. Oh no, I need to talk to Larry. Okay. I'm the fastest there is. Okay, we got it this time. What? Mmm. Let's do it with Sandy instead. Guess we can't. Let's not do it with Sandy. Yeah, shut up, Larry. All right, we're gonna do it this time. I can feel it. Feel it in my bones. This song is so repetitive, but so catchy at the same time. How do I get up there for that sock? Alright, let's take the shortcut again. If I just keep taking these shortcuts, surely I'll, uh, I'll beat it. Okay, there's that purple shiny thing over there. Something tells me if I were to just go for it, I might find another shortcut, but I also don't want to risk the whole time trial thing. As much as I need the shiny, though, maybe I should have just gone for it. Let's go this way. And go this way. Alright, 37 seconds left. We're doing good. At 
And look at that, I avoided the twisty turns. Wow. That was... Spider-Man PS4 is super good, but if you're gonna play it, get the Game of the Year edition on sale or something. I might. I, uh, I actually just recently got a capture card, so that's something I can look into now, whereas before I couldn't. You beat my fist time. Shut up, Larry. Um, my friend Isaac, he keeps going back and replaying Spider-Man PS4 because he enjoys it that much, but I'm sure I would too. It's just... I don't know. I mean, I already have a lot of games on my backlog. Mm, it's something I can look into. One of the games I have been wanting to do, though, is that new uh, Medieval remake for the PS4. I played the demo of it as a kid on the PlayStation 1, and I thought it was the coolest thing, but I never actually had the game. But the remake looked really pretty. Alright, let's get all these shiny things. There we go, now we can go to the next level. Bubbles smell like victory. Alright, SpongeBob. Founder Hill, let's do it. Alright, Bubble Buddy. Ooh, can I break the snow sand man? Oh. Oh, there's eight of them. Do I get a sock? My eye is like really itchy and I'm trying not to touch my face. Do I get a sock if I get all eight? Let's see, I haven't played the remake of Medieval, but I absolutely love the original on PS1. I think the coolest thing about the remake is if you beat the uh, the game, the remake, then you unlock the PS1, like the whole Medieval game. And as far as, like, game completion awards go, that's... That's pretty cool. Like, don't get me wrong, uh, like in Super Mario Odyssey, when you go to um, Princess Peach's castle at the end of it, it's really cool. But let's be real, if they were to put in all of um, Super Mario 64 inside of Super Mario Odyssey, it's like a completion kind of thing, that would be hard to top. So, props to Medieval for putting a whole game inside of a game. This level isn't so bad. Let's go this way. Alright, I've gotten half of the sand men. That's good. That's very good. Oh, there's one. Maybe I shouldn't have gone for it. I don't know if I'm gonna actually... That was stupid. Let's see. Five seconds. Oh, there's the finish. Oh. Oh. Oh! Wow, that sucks. Oh, man. Well, we get to redo that. Will you break? Thank you. Oh. What is going on?
Okay, let's just kill you first, because you're a nuisance. Push, 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 push. Okay. There's another spatula. Kerbluey. That's right, SpongeBob Kerbluey. Okay. Go to the box, redo the level. Sounds like a good plan. And actually remember to talk to Bubble Buddy. Told you I'm slick and fast. If you can beat my time down the hill, I'll give you Somebody's cocky. Alright. Be on the lookout for shortcuts. That's what I gotta do. So, uh, Max, what's your favorite level in this game? And what's your least favorite? Personally, I... I despise Kelp Forest. I hate that level so much and back around we go kelp forest just seems to take forever that or uh rock bottom i hate that one too i mean it's not like they're bad levels they just drag on forever as far as favorites go i'd probably Honestly, Jellyfish Fields. I think it's really pretty. The boss fights are fun, too. I remember the first time I ever played the, uh, the Sandy boss fight. It was a lot of fun. I was like, whoa. Mecha Sandy. Okay, let's go this way. Suck! Oh, we killed this time. What system will you get rehydrated for? Uh, it's hard to say. I really hope that it'll come out on PC because I mostly do PC gaming now, but if not, then I will probably get it for PS4. From what I can remember, the rooftop type section was the one I couldn't get past and my dad had to do it for me. My favorite was the Robot Sandy fight. Robot Sandy fight is a really fun fight. The Patrick fight is fun too. We'll play a little bit more of this, probably get through the whole level, and then I'll call this an episode. Next up, I'll be playing a Pokemon Double Randomizer, where I'm playing Pokemon Gold and po or, uh, yeah, Pokemon Gold and Pokemon Crystal at the same time with one controller. Both games are randomized, and it gets pretty crazy. Where's one? There's one. Oh, I need more stuff. Oh, a snowman. Hey, I got my sock. It will come out on PC. Check the Steam website. Oh, sweet. Oh, I can't wait for the mods for that. That's gonna be... That's gonna be something. How do I get up there? I want... I want up there. Oh, that's 2500 though. I can't afford that. I don't know how long you've been listening, Gary, but I had mentioned that I, uh, I'm using my modded console here, but I found some HD textures that hopefully is making this look pretty good. I mean, SpongeBob himself, I think he looks alright. If you look at the original, like, it was all grainy and stuff, and 
I also turned up the anti-aliasing for it, but what are you most excited for about uh, Rehydrated? Honestly, uh, just the graphics. I mean, I've played this game so much that, gosh, like, I'm just, I'm so used to it. So looking at it through, like, a new lens, if that makes sense, will be one of the coolest things. I'm really looking forward to that. I'm not looking forward to like any level per se. I know they're all gonna look great, but I don't know. It, it's just, it's gonna be so weird, but so, so cool. Um, but the textures will look even better and rehydrated. That's very true. Like this, this took some setting up to do and it's not that I minded doing it. It's just, I don't know like it'll be like what I what I've done will look nothing compared to rehydrated and that's gonna be amazing and the fact that they're not rushing this out is even better like I'm glad they're spending their time making sure it'll look good I heard it will have cut contact, including Robot Squidward boss fight. Cut contact means more areas, hopefully. Uh, I haven't heard about that. If if there is cut content, then... I don't know. Oh, I need Sandy for this. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's grab this. Oh, I have enough to get in the area now. Let's switch to Sandy real quick and grab that spatula. I wonder if they're going to be adding any levels. <clears throat> yeah, I know, Gary. I've already figured that out. Uh, that was bad. The one thing I'm worried about is them simplifying the game for the fact of it being Spongebob. Like, I like the challenge this game offers. I hope they don't make it any easier or any harder. I hope they just leave the difficulty the same way it is. Yeah, new levels return in, uh, to returning areas. Um, I mean, like, if they were to do something like, um, what's a good example? Like a uh, glove world. I think that would be interesting. Do uh, do a level based off a of glove world, or if they were to turn like the um, the little carnival area in um, oh, what's the level called? Uh, the beach level. If they were to turn the carnival area and in that into glove world, that would be a welcome change in my opinion. Okay, Mrs. Puff is here. Mrs. Puff, you're not racing down these slopes. Goo Lagoon, yes, thank you. Sorry, blank there. Down this hill a hundred times, usually rolling. Darn kids think it's funny to push me, but if you can beat my time down the hill, I'll give you a gold. It's kind of sad. Kids are pushing you down this hill and you end up breaking a record. This is really calm music compared to the other levels. I don't know how I feel about it. Hey, Sock! That has a lot of shiny things. Oh, now the music kicks in. That was weird. This level isn't so bad. I do like... Oops. I do like, though, that they made a whole level basically dedicated to just the whole surfing thing that Spongebob's doing now. 
it's uh it was always one of my favorite things as a kid to like find one of the slides in some of the levels and redo it multiple times and i think they knew they did a good job with it too and that's why they did a whole level based on it one button and two buttons where did that come from? Why is there a ramp on the side of that mountain? Is it specifically for falling sand balls? Something seems fishy. Alright. Now we'll go grab the spatula from Puff Girl. Come on, get in the box. That is the only time you'll ever say that to Spongebob, Mrs. Puff. Okay, what other spatulas am I missing? One. One. Which one is it? What am I missing? Gary, you have any ideas? Is it the the clam at the beginning of the level? Because I know a hook goes down, but I thought it was for a sock. If it's for a spatula, then I might just grind some shiny stuff. Oops, that was stupid. Can I hit you with this? Yes, I can. Ow. Oh no, it's Squidward. That's what it is. I feel dumb now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that claim just gives you a sock. Oh, Magneto, you did it! Now I can go get my equipment and ski in peace. Actually, I think that Patrick borrowed your equipment. What? Who said he could do? I did. I figured if you didn't know, you wouldn't mind. Again. Wouldn't mind? Of course I mind! It's only the most expensive skiing equipment you can buy! And what does Patrick want with that stuff anyway? He doesn't even know how to ski. I want the warm now! <laughs> oh, I love this game. Wait. Did he give me a spatula? No, he didn't. What? Where? Spatula? Does he not give me a spatula? I'm calling. Okay. Does the clam give you a spatula? I didn't think so. Maybe it does. I'll be darn. I wonder if I can cheese it. I've done it before where I just jump off and I get... <laughs> yeah, I want the worm now. I wonder if I can jump off and make it. Oh, no. I've cheesed it before with other things by getting socks that way, but with it being a spatula, I guess they upped up the, uh, the security. So, I'll play this a little bit more, get some shiny stuff, do the clam, grab the spatula, and I'll probably call it an episode and do some Pokemon. What did he mean? Uh, I think... This place, it's supposed to be like snowy instead of sandy. So, I think Patrick's just cold. Hey, a sock! <clears throat> That's something else I can do before I end the episode is go get another spatula from uh, Patrick. We're getting stupid piece of. Die! From Patrick. <clears throat> Oh, uh, let's see. I still need another thousand. Let's go back into this level and see if we can find any more secrets. I know there was the uh, little Texas stuff for Sandy, so we'll run down this level with Sandy real quick.
Okay, let's do it. Is it just me or is Sandy faster? Where am I going with this? Why is this here? There has to be a secret. Is that really all it's for? Is that purple shiny thing? That was some horrible aim, Mr. Robot. Ah, I found a sock. I didn't get the sock. Well, I found a sock. Let's get the sock. Sandy looks faster, but I think it might just be the size of the character model that makes it look like that. Could be. Or... It could be that clams go down faster on sand than tongues. Or it could be the model size. She, did she say that's for messing with Texas? Well, I have enough for the... Gosh, dang it, I was going to miss it again. Whew. I have enough for the clam now so I can get that last spatula. I feel like there's more secrets that... What happened there? I feel like there's more secrets I missed. I didn't see anything. Oh, sock. Okay, I feel content now. <laughs> Very wise, Mr. Average King. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> All right, let's do the uh, the clam thing. Grab the last spatula, talk to Patrick, and then I'll be doing the double randomizer. I need to go this way. How do I get up there again? Do I just jump off of this? No, I go over there. That's right. Shut up. another golden spatula for you. Oh, boy! Can I have it? Sure, if you fall down to the bottom of this pit. Isn't there a safer way? It's always safety with you people. Hmm, I suppose you could bungee down. What was the point of that conversation? Like, we've gone over this before in the game. We, I know about the whole bungee system. Like, I don't... Okay. We are racking up the spatulas. I feel good. I feel very good. It sucks that I lost my save data for this game originally, and that's why I stopped playing it. But I guess it's kind of a good thing that I got sick. Because then I was able to go back and replay it. But at the same time, I've officially gotten 44 spatulas in two days. And surprisingly, I'm not tired of it yet. Hi, Patrick. Wow, SpongeBob, you found some! Now they're back home, safe where they belong. Here's your golden back stretcher. Spatula. I don't speak Italian. <laughs> I don't speak Italian. Oh, Patrick. Oh, boy, oh, boy. All right, so, Twitch audience, I will be... Um, playing Pokemon Randomizer 
double randomizer next. Uh, YouTube audience, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, I hope you have. I, I know some of you guys have been wanting me to play this again for a while now. Uh, but if you enjoyed, be sure and give me a thumbs up. Don't forget and hit the subscribe button and the bell for future notifications. And that being said, hope you have a good night and bye-bye.